It's such a fantastic honour and completely unexpected as well. It was wonderful to receive my doctorate, honorary doctorate from here, and I thought that was me done in terms of the robes and the hat, but to be invited back and to become a pro-chancellor for sport, the first one that you've had here for sport, is fantastic because you might have gathered that I'm quite passionate about sport and I'm quite passionate about Wolverhampton. So to be representing the university locally and further afield is just perfect from my point of view and something that I'm more than happy and honoured to be doing. I'm very much a local girl from Wolverhampton, born just down the road in the New Cross Hospital and I was brought up in Codsall, just down the road that way, 10 minutes or so. So I feel completely connected to Wolverhampton. I moved away to university and have travelled around the world and lived various places since. But I'm always from Wolverhampton, always will be, and anyone I speak to very much knows my connection. And this is such a sports orientated university that it's the perfect place for people who want to work in sport in some capacity to do their training as well as the fantastic courses they have on offer. It's the opportunities really that this university provides that is gonna set these students apart from others. One of my favorite sayings is that it's better to be at the bottom of a ladder you want to be on rather than halfway up one you don't. And when I was changing career, I realized I was halfway up a ladder I didn't want to be on. So I jumped off it and started again. And even though I was a mature student when I started again, I was really, really pleased that I did because ultimately now I'm doing my dream job. And so my advice to them is to make a difference every day. In that regard, do your research. Try to find the path that's right for you. It's not always going to be easy. There's going to be plenty of adversity along the way. But try to take steps in the direction in which you want to travel rather than getting sidelined, taking a job that, well, it's a job, and then finding yourself doing something that you're really not passionate about because life's a bit too short really not to be doing something that you really want to do.